<clears throat> right. Shall I do this one? Go on. Hi everyone, this is now our third video in our decluttering series and this one is, well I guess we'll see what we can fit in but right now we've got like bronzers and blushes um, or blush Yeah, yeah I said blusher <laughs> but everyone thinks that's funny um, so we're just going to go through, If you, we'll link our other decluttering videos yeah, below yeah. but we have taken the approach of one of the YouTubers we like to watch, Jessica Braun. What did you say it was? Jam, Jam Beauty, Beauty 89. 89. What she does is says, if you had to shop your own collection, what would you keep straight away? So, do you want to go? Or um, go? Yeah, I'll go, go. I'll go first. Okay. What would you keep straight away? Right, so straight away... I would keep this tiny weenie, tiny little, tiny weenie Nars Laguna bronzer mm -hmm. because I love it. I am, uh, I am gonna buy the full size. The full size cool. because I feel like I would use it. You yeah. can see I have the you tiny have one. It. I have used it. Alternatively, if when we're in Sephora, I can buy another tiny one. I might just buy another yeah, tiny true. one. Yeah, true. Could do. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's a really, really good shade. I think it's quite universal. I think it suits most people. So that one, definite. Yes, I'm keeping it. Cool. Now you. Um, I would definitely repurchase. I'm probably going to blind everyone with this. You'll be able to see the camera and the window and everything. <laughs> um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. And I have used it quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell, but I've hit pan on the middle one. So I'm working away at these two. They're just very pigmented, so it's hard to like use them a lot. Um, but I love this. Use it like basically every day. They're so pretty. Obviously, I love that middle shade. Now I've got a feeling that was the limited edition one. Incandescent Electra. Oh, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. Um, but definitely without a doubt, worth the money and I would repurchase it. Man, <laughs> right. The next one is this one here, which is Milani. Really cheap. <laughs> it's really luminoso. Super, super cheap. Milani luminoso baked blush, and this is just gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. It's like I have heard it's comparable peachy, to the um, ambient kind light of peachy. And pinky well, no it's not pinky I lied uh, peach, it's peach coral. it's like a peach yeah, it is. but it's oh. got like a really nice yeah. shimmer to it it's just very luminous mm -hmm. as the name suggests very pretty it's got like a tiny brush it's not even out of the obviously I've used <laughs> tons um don't know why they put that there don't bother um it's gorgeous so that one I'm definitely keeping um, for a bronzer, now I'm not sure if this was limited edition, this was um, a present of my friend and um, the same time where if you watch my, if you watch the highlight video, um, the little single highlighter, she got me that as well and this is Urban um, Decay Beach Bronzer, like how pretty is the packaging, this is in the shade Sun Kissed, I think there was only two shades mm -hmm. and this is lovely and I'm just working my way through it, it's really nice it's a good colour, I don't really know what else to say. I just like it and yeah. I would buy it again. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if the Urban Decay are known for their bronzers, but that's really nice. Yeah. I like it. Um the other thing that I would buy again is another, another. Milani product. And I mean not even necessarily this this shade, this is T Rose and um, I just generally the Milani blushes are so good. Yeah. This is it is really nice. I mean, you can't it's really pretty. tell that I've used that uh, that much, mm. but I definitely have. Um, but it's quite subtle. It's not like oh, that's pretty. It's it's very like everyday mm -hmm. blush shade. Um, it's not like the Luminoso, um, that it's like shimmery. It's just quite matte and yeah. it's lovely. Very nice everyday blush. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I would repurchase again. Now, I probably should because these are probably sold. Um, these are by number seven and they are Pop and Glow Cream Blush. And I love both of these. Now, you bought me these, didn't you? I did. Um, and it's like a chubby sit kind of situation. It's just a cream. And I just use a stipple and blush blush <laughs> stippling brush and like stipple on the top and these I've not heard anyone talk about these 
and they are so long lasting they are just really pretty sometimes I do like a cream product so I'm definitely I would buy these again I probably should this one is the shade Mango Sorbet, and that's the like corally one, obviously. And this is Rose Blossom, and they are so pretty. And um, these are definitely the best cream blush I've tried, in my opinion. Mm. Um, the other thing that I definitely would repurchase is, again, not necessarily this particular shade, but just one of these cream these, blushes. Like yeah. formula in general. Yeah, I really like the formula. It's um, the Chanel, uh, what's it called? Oh, Le God. Blush Creme de Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> Cream <And> Blush <laughs> is in, who knows? Does it have a number? Uh, I think oh, their stuff normally has a number. Number 65 Affinity. Ooh. So that is just Pretty. kind of pink and cream. And it's kind of, although it's cream, it's kind of cream, the uh, powder -ish. I was going to say, that's what those um, yeah. number seven ones are like. They, they're not wet at you all. They're not. it's just kind of... Yeah, it almost looks like a powder yeah. now. It's very very nice. pretty. So, love this. And yeah. it's lasted quite a long time. And I do like to have at least one cream blush in mm -hmm. my drawer. Same. Now, is there anything else you would definitely repurchase? No. Okay. Cool. There isn't just because there isn't anything I would definitely repurchase, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get rid of everything. Yeah. Should we just whiz through and get rid of some things that we know okay. we're not gonna keep? Well, personally, this. I will get rid of this. This is a Tarte. I think it was just called Sculptor, the Sculptor or something. It's just a mini, um, and it's basically like a cream bronze and product. It literally just blends out into nothing really. But I know my friend likes this, so I just think it's not really worth it's tiny, but I don't want it to take up the space. Okay, get so rid. Go on. Got Boom. it. What about you? What do you want to get rid of? Anything that is um, Oh well. Oh yeah. These, these. yet again, revolution. We got mm -hmm. them in the uh, I was gonna say we got them for free. We didn't. We got them in the calendar. Yeah. Um are they bad? No. They're just, as you can see, there's a lot of other things to choose yeah. from. I've never yeah. used them, never no. reached for them. Pass them Goodbye. on. Goodbye. Pass them on. Our ten-year-old mm. little niece is going to enjoy She's them. She's going to love so. them. There you go. Well, what are your opinions on that? Benefit um, to you, the hula. It's okay. I'm confused because they are now bringing out a, like a stick. Mm -hmm. But they've got this, and then mm. there's a lot of, and then they've brought out a hula light. It's just... This is the pump. I just didn't feel like there was much going on with that. Oh, hello. That looks Intense. really thick. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that wasn't like that when I tried it. No, that's no. gone. Because personally, if we're going to go for a cream bronzing product... Now, this is yours. It is. I love this. I really like it. It's really subtle. It's quite a dry cream. Nobody knows how the hell you're supposed to use it. <laughs> uh, people say it's meant to go under your foundation, people say it's a bronzer, people say it's like to warm up your skin and then you put your foundation on top. I really like this. Do you like this since it's yours? Yeah. It's I just, think it's really lovely. It is one of those things that you're not really certain how yeah, to yeah, use yeah. it. I really like it. If I'm doing a cream product day, I will 100% use that and I think it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Um. This is one of those things where there is a potential that I would buy my own of this mm -hmm. since this is well, yours. Well, you might have to. Oh, I will take this one. <laughs> Anything you want to get rid of? Anything you yeah, want to... Yeah, this gigantic this... brown salt. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's get the my salt water out. <laughs> I've never used this. No, this I haven't. Sephora. Let's see. It we'll was in it a live action. Oh, you yeah. better... Oh, you should probably oh. take the thing off. <laughs> I've go. heard this is really good. It, oh, um, I'm pretty sure it came in a. Um, oh, or is that product just crap? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you need to make these last. I've only got three. Okay. <laughs> got lots of other swatches to go. Right, let's get Let rid me... of that. There you go. Okay. okay we'll hang Anything else that. you want to get rid of? Um. Because I'm looking at this. Yeah. Let's just move these. Let's in look a bit. at some of these. Um, okay, so 
yeah, this here. To be honest, it's it was sat there. I didn't even notice it yeah, was there because it's That's so how warm. I feel. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. So yeah, what is that? I oh, blushed. So they're it's all blush, blush, but that's, that's a highlight. Highlight. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Bye. No. Um, this this is actually a great little cream blush. Mm -hmm. um, Bourjois do really good cream blush, mm -hmm. and this is a really good one. Try that. And it oh, it's a just bit firm. <laughs> yeah, it's probably quite old. Oh, hello, that's much yeah, more pigmented than I thought it? it was gonna be. Yeah, very pretty. Because I'm thinking I've got this. Pink, yeah, and then so maybe have I should just keep this okay. so I've got a peachy option I'll allow as that. well. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I've sorted something I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, I've had this a while. This is the only product I've ever had from Illamasqua. Um, it's not bad, it's just dried out. Now, these are it's a cream pigment in the shade Hollow, and there was a lot of hype around this as like a cream bronzing yeah. contour product. Oh, it's quite dry. Yes, it wasn't it dry. About a million years. Yeah. Um, it says 12 it's months. It's nice though. It's lovely. Yeah. It's really good if you got pale skin. Do you know why I think I got this? I think um, Pixie Woo was saying this was really good mm. if you had I like the shade skin. of it. It's, it's nice. very pretty. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just old. Yeah. And I don't use it. So he's going. Bye. Gone. <laughs> Bye. Um, oh, I feel like we're doing all right here. Well, yeah. we are, but we haven't gotten on all this <laughs> stuff that I'm going to keep yet. Shall well, I Shall I go for this? Okay, first? we'll go for that because I didn't even realise that existed. <laughs> no. Right. This is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette and it's the cream blush. It's called All About Cream. And as the name suggests, it's all cream. It is a palette full of cream blush that I've never used. Um and again, there's nothing wrong with Ooh. them. They're they're perfectly nice. They're very wet. Perfectly, perfectly nice. However, yeah, they are. They're very creamy. They aren't look they? like lip gloss in the palette. Yeah, you don't they? Actually, they don't look like a cream blush. Um, I mean, it it has dried a bit. It's a bit tacky still. Yeah. Mm. I'm thinking no. Bye. You've got the two shades you I need, have. so I don't need it. I don't need it's it. It's gone. Okay, now there is some products here that are quite new. I just ordered from Tan Beauty. So this is new, Summer of Love Triple Baked Bronzer. Um, I think I've used it like once so far. It's pretty, I wanted a bronzer with like a bit of a sheen to yeah. it. Um, because to be honest, I'm tired of this whole like Contour overdone thing, contour yeah. thing. Like I, I just think it's a bit much and I was looking for something that just kind of warms me up a little. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to keep that because it's new. These are both new. I was going to do um, a blog post on these because this one is just like the Too Faced Leopard Pink Leopard bronzer. Yeah, I think it Freedom is. Freedom are really good at doing it. Yeah, like Tan Beauty and they're really good. good this is very pretty. It's somewhere in between like a bronzer and a blush. It's just like that one's quite um, like subtle. Mm -hmm. Now, this one I've been using and I really like it. I can't describe like the colour, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a Barbie pink? Yeah. It's yeah, really it's pretty, pink. it's actually very like natural, mm -hmm. um, so I'm really enjoying that. That one is called Pink Cat, and the other one was called Purr, Gl Pro Glow Purr, mm -hmm. and they are really pretty, so I'm keeping them. I see one product of yours yes, here now. That one. Mm -hmm. This is a Max Factor blush and it is a cream puff blush in lovely pink. There was a I lot of hype around it. them at one point, wasn't there? I don't there? use it, do It's I? pretty. It's, um, it's basically a baked type blush. A lot of these products that we There's like are kind of like dupes on. for the hourglass yeah. thing. But I've got the blush palette, you've got the, um, what's it called, the edit, the ambient lighting yeah. edit. Thing, so nah, I don't use it. I say nah, it's not mine. Um, this is really lovely product. It's Charlotte Tilbury, and I love Charlotte Tilbury. This is the cheek to cheek swish and pop blusher in Sex on Fire, and it's really nice. It's unusual. It's not like any other blushes that I have. It's kind of like I don't know how would you describe the color. It's the middle color is kind of like purpley, and that's like a yeah, yeah. more more mauvey. How mauve. do you say? I never know well, how to say mauve. it. I've mauve. Heard people say it. Mauve, mauve. Mauve. I don't know. It's a really <laughs> nice neutral natural color. This came. I bought like one of those sets 
I said I did. Mum's very kindly bought me the sophisticated look in a palette thing um, for my Wendy and this came with it and it's lovely. I really like it. Okay. Now, they this, all belong to you. These are all Mac, yeah. so I'm probably going to keep them all because I'm trying to gather some stuff and we're going to do them back to Mac. This is Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Give Me Sun. Now, I bought this when I was living abroad and it was okay then. It's a very orange bronzer, but it is nice and I do like the like Mineralize Skin Finish formula. But the thing that annoys me the most is like this is broken. The packaging and, always breaks. Well, that's why they've changed the packaging, isn't it? Um, so I'm gonna hold on to it. It may just end up being a sacrifice in the back to Mac. Can someone tell me, like, can you take back like the packaging with like product in? Of course. Because that's can. like almost full. But it's like, fast. I'm just like, I'd rather have a lipstick. So take it back, please. <laughs> um, these are well. I bought this the same time I bought that. This is a mineralized blush in Dainty. It's pretty. It's just, you know. It's not unlike this one. It's. Yeah, it's very similar actually. It's very subtle. It's pretty. It's got a sheen to it. It's. It may end up back to Mac. Who knows? But I'm going to hold on to it for now. These are obviously limited edition. Um, this was from the Archie's Girls collection, cream soda powder blush. It's pretty, it's like a corally colour. Um, and the it's very out of date. It's a mess. <laughs> it's not that bad out of date. Uh, there's no date. It doesn't go out of date. Is it? <laughs> um, this oh, was from the Rocky Horror collection. Crazed Imagine. I don't know why I'm saying the shades, like you're gonna be able to get them, you can't. This is so unusual. What color is that? It's like purple with like a sheen. It's so dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't even swatch anymore. <laughs> but look at that packaging. Do you know what? Okay, I love this. I'm keeping this. This is from the... This is in Maleficent packaging, but they do this all the time. It is Sculpting Powder in Sculpt. Um, and it's really nice. Um, nothing else more to say about it. Okay. It's nice. So now, they're going back to MAC and that's... Okay, kept. yeah. So they... Yeah, so I have a few back to MAC things now. I think... How many do you need? Five? I don't know. So there we go. Right, so, so let's here we go. Oh, we're getting rid of. we're getting rid of. Now we're going for double figures in every okay. everything, so no, I don't think we're gonna what we got. Ten. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Ten. So these are going to a better home. Um and we'll move on to the next one. So we'll link all of our decluttering videos down below. Yeah. Give um, us a thumbs up if you like decluttering. Thumbs up with lots and, watches. <laughs> and um, tune in for the next one. Yeah, bye. Bye. I wanna be your lover